Hi, hello, it's me. The guy who surprisingly has a voice still. Chucking, I know, I'm on the rise. And you know what else is? The sun. Many weapons became infusible again when Final Shape dropped, with some big names in the kiosk becoming viable again. For new players, prioritization may prove challenging, especially with Glimmer being more stretched. Returning players, there may be something here for you too. If you're neither, then hi, welcome. What are you doing? Now, not all of them are revolutionary, since they're all from bygone eras, but hey, there are some decent options if you're without the best endgame or crafted loot, and they aren't nearly as time consuming. So, here we go. Delirium. I am only the best PvE machine gun pre-sunsetting due to the slaying power and ease of use of killing Tally, which Delirium introduced. Overflow warps so reconstruction could run and it fires 200 plus rounds quite fast. Most other machine guns come from endgame life raids, not so fitting for a new player, minus the new Pale Heart one. If you need a workhorse weapon that can still hold its own, consider this as a good starter pick. Definitely one of the best. Adored. Pretty middle of the pack sniper with an option for both PvE and P. Since snipers are actually good again for damage, this is a good pick if you want a sub DPS special weapon. Triple tap for more shots and Vorpal for 15% more damage against yellow bars and bosses and uh, vehicles. It may be simple to get, but it does what it does perfectly, and much easier to get than other known snipers. Salvage's Salvo. Essentially the non-wave frame for Barons with Ambitious and Chain. If you like grenades, then Demo may be a pick. If you like reloading less, then Ambitious. Vorpal is for less non ad clear and more rip a chunk out of yellow bars. I used this thing a ton back in Season 13 and before I got Old Forb, and is still a great pick for a simple but strong and fun special. Null Composure, a great fusion for groups, despite all the more recent powerhouses. Reservoir continues to be a top tier perk for adds and pairing it with Feeding Frenzy gives it an extra star to quickly load that power shot again. And hey, if you want a PvP fusion, just switch perks to Heating Up and High Impact, which is permanently active due to always having low ammo. All in all, a decent fusion to start off with since most best and slot ones come from endgame or past sources. Mountaintop, hmm, of course. One of the most powerful one-shot weapons around, thanks to Micro Missile. This is something great to have in your arsenal. Alternatively, you can hop into Onslaught to try and get a good one, but you will be at the mercy of RNG. Still pretty worth it though. It can destroy red bars and orange bars and chunk yellow bars very well. Not the mountain it was back in the day, but still a legend. Chain of Command, not really best in slot, but also not the worst. Basically a, uh, you like grenades, machine gun, with a synergistic adrenaline junkie for bonus damage and demolitionist for more nades, damage, and nade effects. It's neat if you're playing heavy into your nades or don't have a slaying machine gun. There's zero reason for adaptive munitions, but osmosis can play well with demo if you want to switch your element for more subclass synergy frequently. In a similar sense, Edgewise is another it's alright machine gun, but not crazy. Reload, reserves, damage, and abilities are the whole kit just for you. A good middle of the pack one, but may get replaced in Act 3 of Echoes if you have access. Ascendancy. Lowest raw damage, but has intrinsic tracking, which is kinda nice. It's not that necessary. But it's a great starter rocket since most good ones currently are random drops or endgame rewards, though there is a similar one in this current Act of Echoes. For damaging big targets, Impulse and Explosive Light is the way to go for a fast, quick to reload and powerful rocket. Ambitious and Chain Reaction are things I wouldn't use on a rocket since those are more for clearing out hordes and the only reason I do this with a rocket is bounties. Prime Mutiny, a similar situation to Ascendancy where it's not the best around but it's a near perfect weapon for starters. Unlike Ascendancy, this can be used for both clearing anything and damage. Incandescent or Demo and Swash for extra damage and plenty of chaos, then Vorpal for damage. With Demo, chuck an aid if you're empty to fire another full mag for optimal damage, and pat that damage column on the wipe screen a bit. You'll find more in the wild, but this works well. Plus, come on, it fires literal cannonballs, how can you not like that? Recluse. Now, SMGs have taken a bit of a backseat recently, IMO, but this doesn't mean they've fallen off the face of the earth. Recluse is a simple to use and classic SMG. Quick reloads with Feeding Frenzy and 15% more damage with Master of Arms after any weapon kill. Easy, your brain won't go ouchy. Perfect for close quarters and there's really not much else to say. If you want it, grab it. Oxygen. 
While scouts aren't used that much, this was pretty intriguing since it improved the very lackluster dragonfly. It also promotes breathing. Nice, forgot how to do that. While Mega Neura is nice, this became the D1 Firefly replacement before Oxygen was Sunset. Since scouts are pretty new player friendly and Firefly is mostly from Raids and Onslaught, this scout may become your new explosive best friend. It's fun, but you may rather a gun with two separate perks that work with each other, rather than one simply improving the other. Velus X. All in all, a pretty solid pulse if you're looking for one, and a personal favourite frame, the four burst. As void synergy, damage perks, and works well in both PvE and P. Pretty simple to understand and use. It'll come down to personal preference. Do you prefer a standard three burst, or do you want to try something different? Like different flavours when choosing a drink or an ice cream. Like Recluse, not much else to say. You want it, grab it. Ecliptic Disastaff. You're either a glaive lover or not. There is no in between unless you're completing a bounty. I'm not a glaive enthusiast, so all I can say is the perks look alright. A ranged or melee playstyle can be used depending on what you prefer. The damage on both ranged and melee isn't the worst, with some synergy with exotic armor on different classes. Chivalric Fire. Caster frames have never really been a PvE thing, but perks like Repulsor and Destabilizing are nice. Just have to get the kill with the sword rather than the volatility for the overshield. This is really just a collection item and a, I don't have a good sword, so this'll do, sword. You'll find plenty more good ones as you play. Last right, Melediction and Exit Strategy are pretty similar. All alright primaries, nothing crazy, but can excel in some places. Last right is a text mechanic as Scout. Hits hard, reloads two bullets at once, and is getting a 30% buff, might push it into the light more and be a good option for many players who rather shoot from safety. Recon and Focus Fury in PvE, keep away an opening shot for PvP. Malediction is more so for PvP, not a PvE frame. Enlightened action is passive help, while explosive payload can hit more from further away. Discord and Harmony are more complex and less new player friendly, so don't fret over those. Exit strategy is a simple SMG. Threat detected with either Swash or Surrounded is perfect for a close quarters weapon. It's alright, and that's all. Does what it needs to do well, clearing a path for you. Python. Overflow and 1-2 punch, that's the sentence. Feeding Frenzy on a shotgun is interesting, and Overflow is just an auto reload on ammo pickup. Ignore shield disorient. This shotgun is from a bygone era. 1-2 punch is pretty good if you have a powerful melee to follow up with, like Hunter combination blow when stacked, or Titans using Syntheseps. But as someone new, just have fun and experiment heavily later on. And now we get to basically PvP only stuff. I'm not a PvP enthusiast, so this is just an average player's take. Fell Winters. A classic shotgun, a unique frame where every pellet spread is identical, an overall solid shotgun to grab if you want one, and slideshow and opening shot just give it even more range than it needs. You'll still need to be close of course, but it's a shotgun, what do you expect, a sniper? <laughs> Might as well rename it to Felwinter's Sniper. Reckless Endangerment. Lightweight frames are probably the least used shotguns due to pellet spread, but still decent enough. Perpetual and Snapshot is an easy choice to pad stats and deal snappy. Felwinter's preferred unless you want an easy kinetic shotting. Lunas Howl, the old version, but with updated Magnificent Howl. Able to two-tap if enough Howl shots are stacked. Pretty stable, pretty fun. Its big brother, not forgotten, is the rangy version and makes you look cooler, but that doesn't really carry any weight anymore. New Lunas can be gotten with Rain and Rolls from Onslaught, but either of these are still great for PvP. It says precision frame, but it fires as fast as an adaptive frame. Keep that in mind, it may be jarring at first. Redrix's Broadsword, another fun gun. Desperado, while being changed many times over the years, is still decent in its own right, shooting much faster to secure a kill after a quick outlaw reload. High impacts are also alright in PvP still, may take a bit to get used to. Revoker, able to refund missed shots. While the perk is definitely not that good in the current special ammo economy, the sniper itself feels pretty good and hits hard to the body. If you want a kinetic slot sniper, then this is a decent pick. Just don't rely heavily on Reversal of Fortune, bad habit. Komodo. Dragon may come to mind, but the only thing this is, is large. Perks lacking instant deletion. This was from a way different time, one where linears were complete doo-doo. Collections item only because there are easy to get linears out there. Like type in, I think, from the Relic on Mars. Oh boy. There we go. As always, personal preference and what kind of player you are will ultimately determine what you buy. Watch your glimmer and thanks for watching. If you found this at all helpful, be sure to drop a like and even sub because that doesn't hurt at all and it's completely free in this economy. Wow. Leave your thoughts down below and suggestions for other things to cover. But other than that, thanks for the recent support and I'll talk to you all later.